smells like a chemical fire in here. Oh my god. <coughs> oh my god. Hello, and welcome to the Infinity Closet. I am Peter. Uh, my cousin bought me some ramen. Uh, it's the Sam Yang, however many times spicy, 12,000 Scoville unit, heat, hot chicken, something something ramen. Looked pretty good. I was grateful to get it. So I'm gonna eat some ramen. And while I'm eating ramen, We're gonna talk about TFCon. It's a little close. Move it over. So it's gonna be a ramen recap, I suppose. While I talk about the show and burn my mouth on this. Let's begin, shall we? That's hot. Not as hot as I feared. But not too bad. Mm. Okay, so I live in Florida and I recently got back from a road trip. Two weeks we were out. We drove up to Toronto to go to TFCon and we stopped at a bunch of places on the way. My family and I, we hit 25 states. We did something in every state that we hit. Um, saw a lot of family members, had a great time every place we stopped. Culminating in the, the, the apex of our trip where we hit Toronto and then we came back down and hit you know more states. Total 25. <clears throat> Toronto, we were there for one day, uh, Saturday, and uh, got to catch up on a lot of uh, you know, visiting friends and shopping for toys, obviously. Didn't buy uh, as much as I thought I had you know, was going to. Um, I stayed in budget, which is something that I never, ever, ever do. But considering my budget also had to include gas to get my family home, it's probably a good idea that I stayed in budget. This is a mini pack of ramen, so it's not very big. So, I didn't buy a whole lot of uh, modern type figures. Didn't buy any, I'm sorry, I didn't buy any vintage type figures, I should say. I bought uh, mostly modern stuff. No, I bought. I didn't buy any vintage figures. I bought all modern figures, and I didn't buy any official figures either. I bought all third party or knockoff stuff, I guess. <clears throat> so we'll jump right in. Pick this one up. It's the uh, Mastermind Creations uh, redeco of their uh, their Cybertronian drift figure uh, in, a, in a red shattered glass deco. Pretty cool. Um, I don't know. It 
it's neat. It has an alternate head, uh, so you can have like the regular drift head or you can have like a Deadpool-esque head. Um, so that's pretty cool. Next up, I got my first of these guys. It's the DX9 Attila, or their version of Menasaur. I got the breakdown figure whose name is Montana in this set. Uh, you know, obviously uh, referencing the Tony Montana character from Scarface. Um, fun facts, I have spider. I have spiders. We have spiders and snakes here and uh, as pets. And one of them died recently and it was very sad. And I played the song Push It to the Limit, which was featured in the movie Scarface at her funeral when we buried her out in our uh, pet cemetery that we have in the yard. So uh, I love the figure. He's big. He looks great lined up with the Decepticons. Doesn't look out of place or, or, or too big. Uh, whereas if you have him paired off with any of the other, uh, you know, like Breakdown's a, a Lambo, uh, Countach. So if you have him paired off with any other, other any of the other Countach toys, like Sideswipe or Sunstreaker or Red Alert, Breakdown looks just way too big. So we'll see how that goes. Um, in a different vein, whoop, gonna knock things over here. In a different vein, I got the uh, the show exclusive Generation 2 drag strip figure uh, by by uh, X Transpots. Uh, his name is Overheat. It's drag strip, um, and of course, and he's in the uh, the Gen 2 deco. Uh, so this one is in a better scale. If you scale him against the Autobot cars, which makes him considerably smaller than the breakdown figure. So my plan is to have the um, the X Transbots Stunticons in their Gen 2 colors. I'm going to get the DX9 set if they ever decide to come out with the other three. Right now they've come out with Breakdown and Wild Rider, I want to say, and we're waiting on um, Dead End. Come on, Peter. You can do it. Dead End Wild Rider, or Dead End Motormaster, and um, oh, snap, my brain. I'm having a meltdown. And Dragstrip. He's sitting right in front of me um, from the DX9 set. So I'm going to get those guys to put with my other Decepticons in their individual forms, and then I think I'm going to use the Fans Toys version as my combined uh, Menasaur figure in my display, in my Masterpiece display. So a very cool figure. I'm going to get the other ones of these and uh, have them running around squared off against my Generation 2 Sideswipe and Generation 2 Bumblebee and any other Generation 2 figures. Maybe that Laser Prime from Fans Hobby that came out. That would be really great to, uh, to have them play play together. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh, bag of parts. Got a bag of parts. I saw um, Azim from, from Renderform. Always a great guy to talk to. <clears throat> Renderform stuff is always fantastic. I love it. I have a whole bunch of it. Um, in fact, Azim designed this too. And this is my third one of these. It's the Corbot V uh, Alicon, or what do they call it? Uh, Mugger, CV002 Final Armageddon Mugger. That's the Alicon figure. Uh, so this is my third one of these. I'm, I'm planning to get, I need an odd number because I need one to hang out with my Quintesson Scientist and I need, I don't know, a bunch to be Alicons in my Quintesson display, in my chug shelves. Um, but from Azim, uh, in his loose bin, I got the weapon sets for all the headmasters from uh, the Titans Return series. And I got a sword for my my, uh, my Metal Hawk figure. I missed all of these when they originally came out, so I was really happy to, to snatch them up, that he had them available, that, so I was able to snatch them up. Um, cool guy, lots of great stuff coming from him. Uh, always appreciative and just love chatting with him. Uh, what else do I have? I got the, the New Age Legendary Heroes. Uh, it's it's Pathfinder, the, the Pathfinder deco for Cosmos when he was a spatio-temporal adventurer or whatever, when the GoBots came over into the, the Transtech universe and were hanging out. I've ordered the Bug Bite too, he's on his way. Uh, he'll be coming from China. Get another bite. It's not as hot as I thought it was gonna be. It's good, it tastes good. It's not, it's not that hot though. Maybe I should have let the water boil a little bit more, get it down to a nice thick sludge concentrate. Maybe I'll do this again, maybe after the next show. Oh, I'm going to the TFCon in, in DC too. It's gonna be good. Yeah. 
All right, so what else? Uh, got a couple of these guys at Toys R Us. Oh, there's a Toys R Us. And this is the cape for the drift figure. And then uh, I guess that's pretty much it, except from, oh yeah, I got, I got this. <clears throat> We got Fans Toys Apache, and he's got better things to do tonight than die. Uh, believe it or not, this is the fun part. And yeah, Apache looks great. I've been waiting to pick him up because I wasn't sure if I was going to want him or the MMC version. Uh, seeing both side by side and being able to fiddle with both. Now I'm starting to sweat. That's what that was. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. So it is hot. It is a warm, warm ramen. Or is it ramyun if it's South Korean? I don't know. I'm calling it ramen, it's tasty. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted the MMC or the Fans Toys version, and then the Apache started to sell out and I was starting to get scared. But then I was able to see both of them side by side and fiddle with them both, and I ultimately went with the Fans Toys version. I think he suits my needs uh, for what I'm looking for in a Springer figure uh, more than the admittedly fantastic MMC version. Um, I also picked up the uh, Transformer Siege uh, Springer from my record shelf. He's going to replace my Thrilling 30 Springer. Um, yeah, so you just got to think about what you want to do before you do it. And that's about it. And I also got, you know, my normal my normal sweet convention bag. Always glad to see these. Uh, Ages 3 and up were the ones that were sponsoring the show. I was able to catch up with my friends from Captured Prey, Orson and Will and Mark. Always great to see those guys. Looking forward to seeing them and helping them out at the next show. Um, what else? I think that's about it. There's not much to say. I saw a few of my friends from the, the Robo Pimps group. I saw Tony and John. Uh, I met Dan in person, so that was nice. Oh, stopped at a shop in Savannah, Georgia, and picked up some, uh, some of these. Random. The shop in Savannah is called Planet Fun. It's in their, their, their downtown section, and I got some weirdo knockoff uh, stuff, vintage stuff, so I've got the Psykill looking guy, and what else? Let's, let's try not to break them, but we will break them out. This guy looks like a converter of some sort, pretty heavy. Um, haven't had a chance to really fiddle with these guys. Uh, on the side it says Monte Carlo, but he's got a pretty involved transformation for, for what he is and his Made in Japan, 1984. I don't know who this guy is, but he looks pretty cool. Maybe you can help me identify who or what the heck this is. What else do we have? Got this little converter looking dude with an American flag on the side of the door. Um, and then we have this guy which is another select converters figure, transforms into a scorpion. Um, I have a few of their other bug bots, but I've not seen this one. So yeah, pick these up at a shop called Planet Fun. Uh, it's always great to stop by there, good place, always a great selection of stuff. Um, tried to swing by Kokomo Toys in Kokomo, Indiana, but they were closed when we went by. Uh, but I've been there before and it's great. Uh, what else, anything else? Huh. Oh God, <coughs> don't inhale the ramen juice. You should drink it, don't inhale it. I'm really interested to know about that blue guy. He's pretty involved, I'm made in Japan, so he's not too Chinese jankety, you know? <coughs> I'm dying. I'm trying not to. <coughs> ah. Okay, great. So that's basically it for my, my ramen recap, my TFCon purchase trip, TFCon trip purchases. Um, 
yeah, got some really good stuff. All uh, modern transformer type stuff, and then some vintagey knockoff type stuff. Uh, super happy with everything getting added, and that's about it. Yeah, so I'll see you next week for my uh, mail call. It's first of the month. Got some really good stuff in. I've got a pile, big pile over there uh, near the couch that just needs to be needs to be accounted for. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you then. Uh, until next time, Forever Destron.